In continuation to the last video where we saw division wise salary, average salary and count of people working for each division, I will be talking about the next level of MIS reports. First let me show the output. I am going to the sheet called sample output. So let me arrive at MIS report 2 which shows you total salary in terms of percentage and also the head count in terms of percentage for you to be able to make a comparative analysis. So let me get back to my pivot table. Let me check off the salary. Although I could have done from the same set of steps, but let me just go back one step and start afresh. Now I want two things. I want the sum of salary and I want the head count. So let me put the salary in the main action area twice. Let me change one of them to the count. Double click, change one of them to count. So now I want to convert all these absolute numbers in a percentage form for which let me adopt an approach at the junction where I get this sum of salary let me double click now before this video we did we did talk about how do you convert to average count or sum but this time let me access the other tab which says show values as now how would you want to show the value as I wouldn't want to show as normal I would want them to be shown in terms of percentage of total so I press ok at the outset uh, it might seem it is disabled the base field but the main criteria is to be chosen from this drop down so that's just a quick note ok all right so 100% that's the total salary and almost half of them is getting paid to the employees of division RAD let me do a similar thing on the next part which is count of salary let me double click go to the tab show values as from this drop down let me choose percentage of total ok so now if you do a comparative analysis one third of the organization has been placed has been working in division RAD but RAD is drawing almost half of the entire workforce salary so that's how the picture looks like give it a try and while you do so you may want to pause the video because the next level of MIS report will be talking about a two grid scenario wherein I will have division names the rating provided to all employees and how they are placed across the spectrum so to do that let me again go back to the pivot table let me take this salary off keeping division on now this time I will be using the rating but wait if I put the rating in the main action area what's going to happen is it's going to total up all the ratings let's say person A person B person C everybody's rating is being totaled up again which is of not of any use to me so I check off the rating and I make sure I put the rating not in the main action area but under the column fields so I now have a 2 by 2 grid ready all I have to do is fill up the main action area now you can put salary in the main action area and do a count alternatively you can put the name in the main action area now why would I do that now since name contains all text it cannot be summarized it cannot be averaged only one mathematical calculation that can happen on that is count So if I want to reduce the decimal I can go to home reduce the decimal now this looks like a clear picture so 417 employees out of which how many are placed under rating 1 across various division now if you were to do a per unit base analysis that is within division AD if I consider the total number of employees to be 100% how is the distribution looking like let's say 40% belonging to rating 1 40% to rating 2 and the remaining 20% to rating 3 4 and 5 now how do I do that let me again double click on the count of name because that's the base for all the calculation double click show values as now if you choose the same option as last time let's say percentage of total you're not going to get an accurate result why because the total is this 100% and this is how they are distributed across various division now once 9% or 10% is allocated to division AD the breakup of that 9.8% has been shown out here now this may not give the correct result why because some divisions could be heavily be staffed some could be 
are consisting of very low number of workers so what i want is each unit should be analyzed separately as a separate business unit so i want the percentage to be calculated not as a total but as a total based on row so i go back i go to count of name i double click I go to show values as as I did earlier, but this time my target is percentage of row. Now, once I do that, let's look at the result. All right, so hundred percent, if considered to be the total workforce for the SBU separate business unit, strategic business unit or AD, out of which almost thirty six thirty seven percent belongs to rating one and two. Now, if you want to club group one and two, for example. One and two. If I select both, I can right-click and say, "Please group them." So hence, it is forming a part of group one, which I can summarize and say, "Hey, rating one two, forming thirty-seven percent of the total AD workforce." If I do a comparative analysis, I will get to see in the division AD, fifty-three percent of the people are getting the top-notch rating. So this can provide a good comparative analysis. If I want to reverse this. You may want to select group one and then say ungroup. So going back one and two ungrouped. So this was one quick analysis where we talked about division-wise, rating-wise in terms of absolute numbers. We also talked about percentage, both in uh, MIS report three and MIS report two. We'll see more combinations in the next video. Till then, keep on practicing. Till here.